one. So this, this is an empty formation. We got three guys over here, two over here, our tailbacks over here. This is our jet replay. You can see this guy's in a four eye. We're reading the DN right here. Okay, our attack was gonna arc. We're reading the DN. He crashes already. It's a handoff um, to our tailback on the edge. Another thing that you got you got our wide receivers got to understand when we're doing this is how physical they got to be on the perimeter, and they got to have a mindset of when we do call these plays that it's crucial in their job to make this play successful by holding their block on the edge. So you can see here, Tark, he, he needs to stay right here in the A gap. He's getting a little too wide right here. Um, you know, maybe he knows that that's a four eye and he's going to slant, whatever. Um, but he needs to stay tight to hit inside of the puller. Coach, yep. Are you guys reading the in man on the line of scrimmage or the first man outside of your in man and then you tag it if it's a four eye with the bear? Uh, if we get a bear, if, if, to be honest with you, in this game, we were reading the, reading the DN, the first hand out guy. Because we. We never saw him come into the box. And, and if, if it ended up happening where he ends up coming and making the play, I'm not going to call that play anymore. I'm going to throw a bubble up there okay. yep. to not allow him to come in and, and to have a factor in the play. And did your backside guard on your jet read power uh, read, is he always skip pulling? Yep. Yeah, to be honest with you, this kid, um, he, he wasn't wasn't our, the best uh, at getting around it and getting to where he needed to get to half the time this year, but um, we wanted we wanted him to turn and run. But to be honest with you, he couldn't do it. He he struggled with it, so we ended up allowing him to do what was, what was most comfortable for him. Is he supposed to block with the read key there? Is he? No, he ran right into him. I, we'll tell him to not pass color. Yep. The coach told that then. Yep. That, that more I squeeze it, what you teach your head, supposed to bog and you're supposed to uh, uh, get around them? No, just like, don't pass color. If you run, if somebody runs into you, you block. Yep, don't pass somebody that runs into you. And then the other thing that we'll teach our quarterbacks is there's ever two off the edge. So coach, you know, that answers also answers your question that if he's creeping up here and he's coming, the quarterback's gonna keep it. Yep. Yep. So when you when you uh, if, if, if the D end if the read key goes outside then is that guard turn off? Yep, yep. And then we're uh, so what's going on here is that our double team is working here for that backer and he should be pulling for the second backer in the box. Yep. This is uh fifth game, sixth game of the year here against uh, Whitewater, I believe, and this is a different way. Here again, this is one of our running backs. We put him in in our personnel grouping um, at tight end here. And what we wanted to do is just to give them a different look to something they haven't seen. But you can see the amount of flowage that happens over the top here. It's hard ends up, <clears throat> excuse me, keeping it here. And this is third down. This is third and four, I think. Um, he does a great job. Hopefully we can get the tight over here. Of staying tight. Staying tight to the A gap. And the big thing that quarterbacks are going to end up doing is taking two shuffles and then they're too wide and then they have to cut back into the A gap of where we're trying to ask them um, to end up to begin with. Coach, you want your QB heels at five? Is that just that's every season? Heels at five, yep. Those at four. Um, so they end up four and a half in an ideal world. <coughs> Next clip here. Uh, this is against Stevens Point. And another thing that we're going to utilize is different blocking on the perimeter with how we're doing this. This is still the same read um, where we're going to read the front side D end, and then we have a tight end attached, like in the whitewater clip that you saw. He's going to go to the corner. We're going to crack here. 
And our running back, if he would have done this properly, it could have been an even bigger play. Um, he was slow looking inside. But he's designed to go to the safety here. So our wideout's coming in, cracking the backer. He's replacing him, picking up the corner. And then the tailback is going through and picking up the safety. Here again, our, our read is right, right here, C gap. He, and we teach our quarterback, um, if he works up the field at all, then or a mesh point, keep it here. Our thought that he was going down inside uh, to hand it off. But the thing we'd like to see better, obviously, is our running back is too slow uh, coming through here, trying to get to the edge. If he would have been able to get to one of those guys, it could have been an even bigger play for us. How many different tanks do you guys have for your perimeter blocking on that whole game area? Um, would like to have uh, four, but this season this was the only one, only one that we utilized. Yep. Would that be communicated by the tight end and the split receiver, or is it game planned and that's how you're going to do it that way? Yeah, game plan that it's in the play call. Yep. So they know in our jet read that it's the play call, and then it's a tag attached to it. Um, that's with it. Yep. Uh, this, this one, I don't know why the tights only work, but um, this one is another empty set, and this is going into the boundary. So we'll utilize <coughs> going to the field, going into the boundary with this. It's not just a field, you know, jet read or boundary jet read. Uh, we're going to utilize both, going both directions. Um, <coughs> This play, honestly, if you guys are watching the whole line at all, I mean, who do we even block on this play? I feel like our right tackle is probably the only guy blocking somebody here. Um, and then anyway, we ended up getting eight yards on the play because um, we were able to get on the edge. The thing that our guards struggled with this whole year is they wanted to chase guys. They wanted to chase um, linebackers going out of the box. And that's, that's definitely an issue um, because he's going to be scraping over the top. Okay, then th this is going to be um, our home run hitter off of our jet read. Okay, and what this is, um, this is a big play for us. And what we ended up, we, we have the ability to use two wide receivers out here where they're both working on a crack post or just one. Um, the clips you're going to see is just one crack post. The tailback's going to be on the wheel. And then the guy on the jet ends up being your check down. So the guy coming through on your jet um, ends up going through and then just backpedaling out, waiting for the quarterback if he's got nothing to throw him the football. And then on the back side, we didn't throw this this whole year just because um, these were so open, but we'll run a curl and a flat on the backside um, just to hold safeties in the corners um, away from the play. There we go. <clears throat> so the thing we'll do, I mean, you can't really tell unless you're a linebacker, is we're going to cheat our tailback out wide. He's going to take two steps wider than he normally does so he can get going. Um, on the wheel. As you can see, we ran it up with Brian in the game. That there he goes. That's who we're reading right there. He left. The thing I'll tell Tark, okay, you're reading the safety on the hash. If he goes, then you need to peek at where the corner is. You can see he comes through, ends up squaring up. He's the check down. The back is on the wheel. So the protection of it is going to be the same. Now we're going to have our guard pull and kick out the DM. It's the same same play. Uh, it looks the same other than the guard is going to block the read if we were to run our jet read. He's going and kicking out uh, the DM on it. But it's the same blocking scheme 
as the run play just for guards going and just picking out the DM. Uh, Next one here, this one, um, this was the third game of the season, our tight end here, we'll get to his protection here in a second, um, what he needs to do, but here again, you can, you now it's really obvious, you can see where his split is, right, um, of him getting out, getting going, um, Hart does a good job of feeling that guy coming, which he shouldn't be coming at all. Tight end. Um, should have it picked up, but he didn't. And Hart got it out quick, got it to the running back, able to get it down in, into the red zone. Like I said, so the, the landmark. Um, for our guys is they're going to crack and then get vertical between the numbers in the hash. If it's middle of the field um, open, they're going to, meaning there's going to be two high safeties, they're going to work to the hash. If it's a one high safety, they're going to work to two yards outside the hash. 